As I was working on some draft content, I saw some great freaking news from James Palmer, and that is Jarek McKinnon, per source, is expected to return to the Kansas City Chiefs and re-sign tomorrow. So let's talk about it. But first, how about those? So here I was just working on some post-draft content for a video tonight when I saw some really, really good news on Twitter. Had to make a video and share it with you all. This is James Palmer, a very uh, reputable source. He said veteran running back Jarek McKinnon likes to take his time in the offseason and the Chiefs bringing him back to KC was considered something that would be addressed after they were done with the draft. It seems like that's now in the work, something that's really been expected. And I think he got this from Brett Veach's post-draft presser. He spoke today, he touched on the running back room and was actually specifically asked about Jarek McKinnon's return. And he said, I mean, he basically seemed rather confident that talks would resume. He said before the draft, after the draft, we're going to talk with McKinnon in his camp. And uh, he basically said today, he feels confident that talks will be happening soon with McKinnon, okay? So after he said that, and then specifically name dropped McKinnon again a little bit later when talking about the running back room, he basically said, and a potential return of McKinnon when talking about Pacheco, CEH, and then the newly signed UDFA Daenerik Prince. Um, he's a dog. I'll talk more about him in a later video, but he is almost exactly like Isaiah Pacheco in his athletic testing, his speed, his body type, like height, weight, all that stuff. Daenerik Prince, I was looking at film on him yesterday. Dude, He's fire. He looks like a angry running Isaiah Pacheco. And if he could somehow sneak onto the roster as well, whoo, buddy. All right, pretend I never did that. But then James Palmer tweeted this out just a moment ago. He said McKinnon will be re-signing tomorrow with the Chiefs per source. He's back in Kansas City. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, welcome back, Jarek freaking McKinnon. This is a, a great back to have back in the running back room. This man was a valuable protector, picking up blitzes and protecting Patrick Mahomes. He helped the tackles a lot with chip help. We have new tackles now. Maybe that will be less needed in the future. But man, Jarek McKinnon, an absolute dog. If you look at his stats just from last season, he had uh, 72 carries for almost 300 yards and a rushing TD. That's You look at that alone, it's like, well, what's the excitement about uh, Jarek McKinnon return? Well, let's look at him in the freaking receiving game. 56 receptions for 500 yards and nine receiving touchdowns. He had, I think, one more receiving touchdown than Justin Jefferson, one of the best receivers in the league. So this man, when you combine his ability on third down to protect Mahomes, to make things happen in the passing game, I mean, this dude was freaking elite. If you look at the receiving stats, you had Travis Kelsey with 1,300 yards, Juju Smith-Schuster 933, MVS 687, Jarek McKinnon was fourth on this list, 512 yards, nine touchdowns. He had the most receiving touchdowns on the team, only behind Travis Kelsey, who had 12. So Kelsey had 12, McKinnon had nine. Next on that list was McCole Hardman with four. And I think like two or three of those McCole Hardman touchdowns were actually jet sweeps. So, hey, this is a much appreciated, much valued return in my book. So you've got for sure, Pacheco, probably RB1. Then you've got CEH, who I'm not sure they're going to renew his fifth-year option or not yet. Veach said they're going to revisit that or talk about it over the next few weeks today in his presser. But CEH will more than likely, unless he's bundled up in a trade of sorts, be a depth piece in the running back room. Maybe not the starter. Actually, more than likely not the starter. Just maybe the Ronald Jones last season. He sat on the bench quite a bit, but was there when uh, Pacheco needed a break. So maybe that's what that could look like with CEH. But then the return of McKinnon, he's 30 years old. Yes, he'll be 31 this season. But dude, he is productive, second in receiving touchdowns on the team. And um, yeah, very happy to have this man back. You guys got to let me know your thoughts. Are you happy about the return of Jarek McKinnon? What do you think is going to happen with CEH? And what are your thoughts so far on Daneric Prince? I'll talk more about him in a later video. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those?